Alrighty guys, we are on episode number 89. We are at the rest stop 10. We are following up on this quest here from Beard, the uh, supposed human trafficker that we, uh, we learned about when we were in the zone birth. We uh, came there at night and found them about to throw somebody into the uh, river to kill them and he turned out to be part of their gang and was uh, driving slaves around. So we went to confront Beard. Um, he claimed he's not a uh, trafficker and sent us to the zone. Um, I've started this zone and started recording content for it and came across some huge huge problems with the quest and the zone in general and uh, I had several recorded videos to show you what happened and uh, as I was doing it and um, I decided to just go ahead and delete all that content and recreate this so that I can show you how I got around the problem and then show you why I'm about to reload and start content from uh, the last episode all over again. So, this this zone is bugged. I don't know if they did it intentionally or not, but there is no zone out here. And up here is the only zone out. Unfortunately, this ambush right here, you've got a guy here, you've got a guy here, and you have a guy here. I cannot beat these guys. There is nothing that I can do to win this fight at this level. I'm not supposed to be in this zone. Um, I can't simply run out and zone out because these guardrails here prevent you from going to side to side. So you have to go forward. So in order to get to there, I have to go forward. So if I start going forward, boom, aggro. Okay, instant death almost. Okay, so even if I get some kind of miracle where I dodge enough attacks to uh, to get to the guy to actually engage in melee, um, I, I'm not going to be able to survive the other two guys' attacks. And the unfortunate part is, I only have a save from hours ago. So this is the save I'm on, load, uh, load number three. Load two brings me back to hours ago, to where I, I actually missed content because I didn't have a save between two and three. So from getting to two to getting to three, there's a lot of content I did that uh, we missed out on. If I if I load back on that, unfortunately the quick save and the auto save are also in the zone, so I can't not load the previous save uh, to get out of this. So I was trying to figure out how do I get out of this zone so that I don't lose the content I already recorded and all the things that we ran across uh, uh, across during that episode. And I come to the conclusion I can't get out of this zone in a normal fashion. Because this is going to happen every single time. Every time. There's nothing that I can do. Even if he jams his gun, these two guys are going to come over and kill Fidel and uh, Zalbers. So, alright, I'm going to teach you guys the way to get out of this. And, um... I'm going to tell you why I don't want to do it this way and why I'm actually going to have to load back up here and redo content. Um, so, if you're stuck in this situation, or you kind of searched, you know, you got yourself stuck into it and you just found this episode and you're like, okay, how the fuck do I get out of this? Okay, I'm on a PC, so I don't know if this game ever came out in any other uh, commands. The only way to get past this encounter is to use the console commands and fortunately they have console commands so the very first thing you want to do is put your cursor 
over the zone out. Okay. Now on your num uh, on your on your um, keypad on your keyboard, you want to press num lock. Okay. Um, I don't know if all keyboards are like mine. Um, I know all keyboards are not like mine. I have a a Steel Series keyboard from way back when that has a gamepad on the left side and a numpad on the right side. So it's like the best keyboard that has ever been created, and they stopped making it. But anyway, um. I have a computer that says, uh, a button on my keypad says my computer, and under that, star key. So in order to open up the console on a PC, you have to you have to have the num lock on. You press zero, hold zero down, then press the star key, which is the star under the my, my computer key. That opens up the console. In order to start using the console, you have to type in you shall not pass, and enter. It'll tell you that the command is not found. Ignore it. It's found. It understands it. So to get to this spot, I type in teleport. And it teleports me off the map. Now, to bring the console back down, you click anywhere on the map first. You will not move. The console won't let you move. Click off the map. Once you do that, then you then you hold zero and press the star key again, and the console goes down. Um, so, here's the unfortunate part. Go to my quest log. See how it's got rest stop 10 crossed out, as if I've done the quest? So it thinks that I've completed the step in here, even though I did not. So I'm out of this, this, um, zone. You know, I'm out of it and I can start moving around now. However, uh, the quest appears to be like I've done something so <laughs> here's the kind of game breaking thing so now I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna open up the console I'm gonna type teleport and it'll tell me it'll port me right back to there so yeah it, it <laughs> uh, so click off then zero close the console and here we are at the border fortress okay so I go and talk to beard okay so you can have these three options if you pick two you will attack the everybody here and that's not the way to go um, so Boom. Okay, you tell him what's going on. Okay, so if you attack him, the entire outpost aggroes, and you have to fight them all. So, okay, well, let's go talk to Commander Green, right? I have no other option, right? There's nothing here. So, my first, when I first did this, I'm like, well, what's the natural progression of this quest? Because I have nothing that I can do, like, other than attack and, and kill Green and kill everybody here. And I thought, well, that's obviously not what was supposed to be, what's, what's supposed to happen. So, okay. Zone so back out all the way back down here to rest stop 10 right there's rest stop 10 open up the console command again zero star key teleport zone back in okay so now we're back to the point where I can't win <laughs> I can't beat the guys well <laughs> all right so type in this command add level I don't know what the max level is, I just picked this out of random. Um, this actually gave me a Steam, Steam achievement for reaching whatever level it is that I reached because of that I did this earlier to test it out so that I didn't have multiple videos wasting your guys' time to show you this fucking bug. So yeah, I leveled this guy up to 50. Um, 
and it seems like I need to actually level it more because I didn't get any hit points. I might actually have to do more than this. Last time this was enough, but I don't think this is going to be enough. actually now that I'm looking at it and seeing it you know last time I did this it was the hit points ended up being like um like over 300 so And this will actually tell me now what the max skill level is, because I was interested in that before, but, you know, fuck, I did this, it's like, okay. I'm not sure why the hit points didn't go up. Is there even a max? Like, how much can you go? Okay. Fatality Master. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know why... Last time it was like 300 hit points. I guess it's random how many hit points you get per level. It's kind of weird, but I didn't think... Okay, so... Let's see. I might not even survive this. I might have to do it again. I just leveled up that to... And look at that, he still doesn't fall over the guy. I mean, wow, what the hell? Yeah, I might not even live this way. I might have to do this all over again just because they didn't give me enough hit points. But I question why my melee is so bad if it's supposed to be 200 now. I mean, look at that. That's just one. Fidel's almost dead. He's out of ammo. The Zobbers is dead. He's not out of ammo. I don't think I'm going to survive this even doing this. Okay, looks like the other guy's out of um, ammo at least. points of damage, but I don't want to step up to him yet. Let's go here. Alright. Fidel. Punches him in the head. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, that was kind of disappointing to see. Anyway, not the point. The point is, this guy right here has that. And that's what you need. So, you take that. that. Okay, so we've got that, right? Okay, so let's get out of here. As you would normally. Okay. And open up the console command. That's the zero star key. Over here, 
click off anywhere in any direction, zero star key, bring down the map, come up to here, go over to the beard, show you what happens with beard, well beard's here, same fucking thing. So, nothing here for beard, same thing before, so give him a hard look and leave. Um, so, come down here, I want to show you this too, okay, so here's this piece of paper, right? Where's it at? Well, don't worry, I'm going to find it in all this mess. Okay, so instructions. Let's give these to um, Fidel, right? So, Fidel has the instructions here. Alright, so now I'm talking to uh, Commander Green. Okay. No option, right? Okay. Now, go to Fidel. And it means pop that up. Alright, take a look, Commander. Show him the note. Okay. I'm not going to do it, because I don't want to see it. Honestly, I don't want to see what happens, because I want to do this the way it's supposed to be done. I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you come across this bug. So, um... If Fidel has the note in his... Or if you take the note and put it in anybody else's inventory, you won't be able to talk to the guy. Um, and again, uh, this all... arose from me not being able to zone out of this zone. Okay, so this started... I can't zone out of the zone normally. There's just no way to get out of here without doing what I just did. Breaking the game, basically. It is game-breaking to me when you have to do something that I just did to, to use console commands to get out of stuff. Um, and that's not the natural intended way of doing the, the quest. Um, unfortunately, there is no way for you to know that until you make this error. There's no way that you can know that you can't beat this encounter until you get into it. And once you get into it, the only thing you can do is reload a previous save. Unless you are actually powerful enough to do that. Now, you just saw what I did. I had a level 50 character that had 141 hit points with maximum melee weapon and it still almost killed me on this encounter so not having a gun uh, and having gun skills to you know maybe basically one shot people from a distance I mean wow uh, so I'm gonna have to like completely rethink my strategy because I was going to go melee because everything was pushing me towards melee and I still may use melee for a, a while but there will be a time I have to switch to guns in order to progress because there is no way that you can close the distance quick enough um, to win unless I get better armor along the way that mitigates a lot more damage somehow. But even then, you know, your companions are pretty weak. I mean, they have the ability to just get in one shot and die too. But obviously, I'm, I wasn't supposed to be here at this level. It wasn't intended for me to be here at level 7. Okay, so, but this all started because they didn't put a zone out right here. They should have put a zone out here. They should have said, okay, once you figure out, hey, I can't win this encounter, the player needs a way to get out of the encounter, and they did not. And that's just sloppy, crappy, terrible programming all the way around. And the only way that I tell, you know, could fix it is to use the console commands. So at least they had the console commands in there for you to be able to fix something like this if you wanted to do it uh, and not not worry about, you know, okay, I'm going to lose this time. So, um, yeah, that's the bug. So what I'm going to do for next fucking episode, I'm literally going to load up the previous save here and redo an entire episode and hope that I run into the same random encounters. We ran into the random encounter where we found the journal um, and learned about the journal and I was able to talk to um, Sarah, the fortune teller, about that journal. I, I didn't want to lose that. Uh, I have to go back and talk to the lottery guy to do the lottery. Um, so, I mean, it, honestly, it wasn't that much material, but it really felt like it was, so uh, I, don't, I didn't want to do that, but I have to do it that way. So, um, yeah. There you go, guys. That, I'm just going to call that the, the rest stop 10 bug. Alright, next episode. Later.